What should you do before making a U-turn? 1. Check road markings to see that U-turns are permitted. 2. Give an arm signal as well as using your indicators. 3. Look over your shoulder for a final check. 4. Select a higher gear than normal. The answer is 3. Look over your shoulder for a final check. Why is it dangerous to drive too close to the vehicle ahead? 1. Your engine will overheat. 2. Your mirrors will need adjusting. 3. Your satnav will be confused. 4. Your view of the road ahead will be restricted. The answer is 4. Your view of the road ahead will be restricted. What should you do if you're being followed by an ambulance showing flashing blue lights? 1. Accelerate hard to get away from it. 2. Brake harshly and stop well out into the road. 3. Maintain your speed and course. 4. Pull over as soon as it's safe to do so. The answer is 4. Pull over as soon as it's safe to do so. What type of emergency vehicle is fitted with a green flashing beacon? 1. Ambulance. 2. Doctor's car. 3. Fire engine. 4. Road gritter. The answer is 2. Doctor's car. What makes the vehicle in the picture environmentally friendly? 1. It's powered by diesel. 2. It's powered by electricity. 3. It's powered by gravity. 4. It's powered by unleaded petrol. The answer is 2. It's powered by electricity. What should the driver of the car approaching the crossing do? 1. Continue at the same speed. 2. Drive through quickly. 3. Slow down and get ready to stop. 4. Sound the horn. The answer is 3. Slow down and get ready to stop. Why do motorcyclists often look round over their right shoulder just before turning right? 1. It helps them balance as they turn. 2. Motorcycles don't have mirrors. 3. To check for traffic in their blind area. 4. To listen for traffic behind them. The answer is 3. To check for traffic in their blind area. You're about to overtake a slow-moving motorcyclist. Which sign would make you take special care? The answer is 1. You're approaching a mini roundabout. What should you do if a long vehicle in front signals left but positions over to the right? 1. Follow the same course as the lorry. 2. Keep well back. 3. Overtake on the left. 4. Sound your horn. The answer is 2. Keep well back. You're driving on a single carriageway road. Why should you keep well back while you're following a large vehicle? 1. To get the best view of the road ahead. 2. To give yourself acceleration space if you decide to overtake. 3. To leave a gap in case the vehicle stops and rolls back. 4. To offer other drivers a safe gap if they want to overtake you. The answer is 1. To get the best view of the road ahead. Which road users benefit from toucan crossings? 1. Bus and lorry drivers. 2. Car drivers and motorcyclists. 3. Cyclists and pedestrians. 4. Tram and train drivers. The answer is 3. Cyclists and pedestrians. What does this sign mean? 1. Cycle in single file. 2. Cycle route ahead. 3. Cycles aren't allowed. 4. Cyclists must dismount. The answer is 2. Cycle route ahead. Which sign means there's a double bend ahead? The 
The answer is 2. What does this sign mean? 1. Entrance to tunnel. 2. Hump bridge. 3. Humps in the road. 4. Soft verges. The answer is 3. Humps in the road. Which sign means the end of a dual carriageway? The answer is 4. What does this sign mean? 1. No through road. 2. T junction. 3. Telephone box ahead. 4. Toilet ahead. The answer is 1. No through road. Which is the sign for a ring road? The answer is 3. Why does this junction have a stop sign and a stop line on the road? 1. It's a busy junction. 2. Speed on the major road is de-restricted. 3. The junction is on a downhill gradient. 4. Visibility along the major road is restricted. The answer is 4. Visibility along the major road is restricted. You're approaching a junction where the traffic lights aren't working. What should you do when a police officer gives this signal? 1. Continue ahead only. 2. Stop at the stop line. 3. Turn left only. 4. Turn right only. The answer is 2. Stop at the stop line. What does this arm signal mean? 1. The driver intends to turn left. 2. The driver intends to turn right. 3. The driver is slowing down. 4. The driver wishes to overtake. The answer is 1. The driver intends to turn left. Which sign means that the national speed limit applies? The answer is 4. What should you do when going through a contraflow system on a motorway? 1. Keep a good distance from the vehicle ahead. 2. Stay close to the vehicle ahead to reduce cues. 3. Switch lanes to keep the traffic flowing. 4. Use dipped headlights. The answer is 1. Keep a good distance from the vehicle ahead. What should you do before slowing down or stopping your vehicle? 1. Flash the headlights. 2. Select a higher gear. 3. Sound the horn. 4. Use the mirrors. The answer is 4. Use the mirrors. What's the reason for the hatched area along the center of this road? 1. It marks an area to be used by overtaking motorcyclists. 2. It separates the two sides of the dual carriageway. 3. It separates traffic flowing in opposite directions. 4. It's a temporary marking to warn of the roadworks. The answer is 3. It separates traffic flowing in opposite directions. The conditions are good and dry. When should you use the two-second rule? 1. Before restarting the engine after it has stalled. 2. Before using the mirrors, signal, maneuver, routine, 3. When checking your gap from the vehicle in front, 4. When traffic lights change to green. The answer is 3. When checking your gap from the vehicle in front. You're driving on a three-lane motorway. How should you overtake a slow-moving lorry in the middle lane if it's showing this sign? 1. Approach with care and overtake on the left of the lorry. 2. Cautiously approach the lorry, then overtake on either side. 3. Follow the lorry until you can leave the motorway. 4. Use the right-hand lane and overtake the lorry normally. The answer is 1. Approach with care and overtake on the left of the lorry. A driver's behavior has upset you.
How can you get over this incident safely? 1. Follow them, flashing your headlights. 2. Gesture to them with your hand. 3. Shout abusive language. 4. Stop and take a break. The answer is 4. Stop and take a break. What should you do if you want to overtake a long, slow moving vehicle on a busy road? 1. Flash your headlights for the oncoming traffic to give way. 2. Follow it closely and keep moving out to see the road ahead. 3. Keep well back so that you get a good view of the road ahead. 4. Stay behind until the driver waves you past. The answer is 3. Keep well back so that you get a good view of the road ahead. What must you do when you see this sign? 1. Stop even if the road is clear. 2. Stop only if a red light is showing. 3. Stop only if children are waiting to cross. 4. Stop only if traffic is approaching. The answer is 1. Stop even if the road is clear. You've stopped at a railway level crossing. What should you do if the red lights continue to flash after a train has gone by? 1. Alert drivers behind you. 2. Phone the signal operator. 3. Proceed with caution. 4. Wait. The answer is 4. Wait. You're at an incident. What could you do to help an unconscious casualty? 1. Check that they're breathing normally. 2. Move them to somewhere more comfortable. 3. Splash their face with cool water. 4. Take photographs of the scene. The answer is 1. Check that they're breathing normally. You arrive at an incident. There's no danger from fire or further collisions and the emergency services have been called. What's your first priority when attending to an unconscious motorcyclist? 1. Check whether they have any broken bones. 2. Check whether they have any bruising. 3. Check whether they're bleeding. 4. Check whether they're breathing normally. The answer is 4. Check whether they're breathing normally. You're behind this cyclist. When the traffic lights change, what should you do? 1. Allow the cyclist time and room. 2. Tap your horn and drive through first. 3. Try to move off before the cyclist. 4. Turn right but give the cyclist room. The answer is 1. Allow the cyclist time and room. Why should you reduce your speed here? 1. A low bridge is ahead. 2. A staggered junction is ahead. 3. The road narrows ahead. 4. The road surface changes ahead. The answer is 2. A staggered junction is ahead. What must you do if your ability to drive is impaired during a period of illness? 1. See your doctor each time before you drive. 2. Stop driving until you're fit to drive again. 3. Take all your medicines with you when you drive. 4. Take smaller doses of any medicines. The answer is 2. Stop driving until you're fit to drive again. Which road users are most difficult to see when you're reversing your car? 1. Car drivers. 2. Children. 3. Cyclists. 4. Motorcyclists. The answer is 2. Children. You want to turn right from a junction. What should you do if your view is restricted by parked vehicles? 1. Move out quickly, but be prepared to stop. 2. Sound your horn and pull out if there's no reply. 3. Stop, get out and look along the main road to check. 4. Stop, then move forward slowly until you have a clear view. The answer is 4. Stop. Then move forward slowly until you have a clear view. A single carriageway road has this sign. What's the maximum permitted speed for a car towing a trailer? 1. 30 miles per hour. 2. 
40 miles per hour, 3, 50 miles per hour, 4, 60 miles per hour, The answer is 3. 50 miles per hour. You're driving with your front fog light switched on. What should you do if the fog has cleared? 1. Drive with them on instead of your headlights. 2. Flash them to warn oncoming traffic that it's foggy. 3. Leave them on if other drivers have their lights on. 4. Switch them off as long as visibility remains good. The answer is 4. Switch them off as long as visibility remains good. You're driving along a wet road. How can you tell if your vehicle's tires are losing their grip on the surface? 1. The engine noise will increase. 2. The engine will stall. 3. The steering will feel very heavy. 4. The steering will feel very light. The answer is 4. The steering will feel very light. You're driving on this dual carriageway. Why may you need to slow down? 1. There are no footpaths. 2. There are roadworks ahead of you. 3. There are solid white lines on either side. 4. There's a broken white line in the center. The answer is 2. There are roadworks ahead of you. Which lights must you use if you're driving on a well-lit motorway at night? 1. Use front fog lights. 2. Use only your side lights. 3. Use rear fog lights. 4. Use your headlights. The answer is 4. Use your headlights. You're driving at night with your headlights on main beam. A vehicle is overtaking you. When should you dip your headlights? 1. As soon as the vehicle passes you. 2. Before the vehicle starts to pass you. 3. Only if the other driver dips their headlights. 4. Sometime after the vehicle has passed you. The answer is 1. As soon as the vehicle passes you. When may you drive a car in this bus lane? 1. Outside its hours of operation. 2. To get to the front of a traffic queue. 3. To overtake slow-moving traffic, 4. You may not use it at any time. The answer is 1. Outside its hours of operation. What's likely to happen if you use a hands-free phone while you're driving? 1. It will divert your attention. 2. It will improve your safety. 3. It will increase your concentration. 4. It will reduce your view. The answer is 1. It will divert your attention. How can you reduce the chances of your car being broken into when leaving it unattended? 1. Park near a fire station. 2. Park near a taxi rank. 3. Place any valuables on the floor. 4. Take all valuables with you. The answer is 4. Take all valuables with you. Your vehicle breaks down on a motorway and you manage to stop on the hard shoulder. What should you do if you use your mobile phone to call for help? 1. Check your location from the nearest marker posts beside the hard shoulder. 2. Phone a friend and ask them to come and collect you. 3. Stand at the rear of the vehicle while making the call. 4. Wait in the car for the emergency services to arrive. The answer is 1. Check your location from the nearest marker posts beside the hard shoulder. You're parked in a busy high street. What's the safest way to turn your vehicle around so you can drive in the opposite direction? 1. Ask someone to stop the traffic. 2. Carry out a U-turn. 3. Drive into a side road and reverse out into the main road. 4. Turn around in a quiet side road. The answer is 4. Turn around in a quiet side road. How can you make sure that a satellite navigation, sat-nav, system doesn't distract you when you're driving? 1. Choose a voice that you find calming. 2. 
Only set the destination when you're lost. 3. Set it before starting your journey. 4. Turn it off while you're driving in build up areas. The answer is 3. Set it before starting your journey. What's the legal minimum tread depth for tires on your trailer or caravan? 1. 1 mm, 2. 1.6 mm, 3. 2 mm, 4. 2.6 mm. The answer is 2. 1.6 mm.